Hello traders, FS Pip Collector here. Today is Wednesday, May 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the photon down analysis. So on gold versus the dollar monthly, I still think this is extremely clearly at 1, 2, 3, which I still think the wave 3 needs to go up to at least the 25, 25, 50 area just to finish the wave 3, make a wave 4, and make a wave 5. So keeping that in mind, because for me it's extremely important, taking it down to the weekly, I was originally thinking this move up was going to be a way B on the sort of time frames, but boy, it definitely could just keep on going up pretty easily. We do have CPI inflation data coming out today, and most of the dollar pairs do look like they need to make a more proper ABC correction before they go up, so it w does seem more likely that this would still be a wave 4. This would be a 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the wave 5 is what would take it up to around the $2,500 area. So, in a way, it's taking it down to the daily time frame. I still have this labeled as a way B, but like I said, it could always just keep on trending up, especially based on my higher time frames. The weekly and the monthly tell me that that 2550 area is where this should end up. Now, I still think this looks like five waves down. I still think this looks like a wave B, and I still think it's more likely it should go down for a wave C to make a more proper looking Kretzen, kind of like this one back here, before it really does end up continuing the uptrend. So, anyways, taking it down to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, I was thinking that this was the end of a wave C yesterday, but boy, it definitely did push back up. Now, is it just going to be test this Fibonacci level? Or is it just going to keep on going up at the CPI news is the question. Most of the other dollar pairs definitely look like they want to make a move down at the dollar news. So I would kind of think that this still could make a move down also. At this point, it kind of looks more like a five-way pattern to the upside, but that doesn't really necessarily mean that it's not a way B still. So taking it down to the one-hour time frame, like I said, on the one-hour time frame, if we zoom out just a little bit, it still looks like this could be a way B. Now, this move down was five ways right here, so I was thinking that this move up was going to be a crutch and then turn at one of these fib levels. But at this point, it's pretty obviously... A not turning at a fib level it could just be making a five wave crutch in and today's cpi news still i think very likely is going to cause this to go back down probably still likely going to end the wave b and probably still very likely going to go down and make that big wave c i still think that this over here is five ways down for the wave a still seems more likely that this should be in a wave b and it still seems more likely that this should go down and make like a five way pattern down for a wave c just like i was just sewing and explaining on the higher time frames so I would definitely still be looking for a sort at the CPI news today, but I would definitely be a little bit cautious. I would like to see like a double top break a structure to the downside before I will be willing to sort it for the continuation of the downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to all the daily live trading sessions. And it also gives you access to all the swing trade setups that I say with the group at the time of entry by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.